What's up, y'all? Travy Dippin' in the building. So, um, just an update. Um, my main concern was obviously like funding, getting the shop right, you know, not having the insurance active and stuff like that, everything being out of pocket. But my other concern was, you know, being able to work and um, it's funny how things kind of work out. I'm not going to bore you with the full story, but um, networking is key, man. Um, throughout my time doing what I do, I met people here and there. And um, I met this guy who who's owns the shop that I'm actually in at this at this moment. Um, uh, his name's Alex, and he has a partner named Amir. And uh, they're about 10 minutes from my shop. And I did some work for them. Um, probably maybe three or four months ago and that's how we linked up and short story is they let me use um, their shop not for free obviously um, I do have to pay you know like a I guess you could say like a commission per car that I bring I pay them um, so I do have double overhead as far as like paying here and paying at the other shop but um, some is better than none and Honestly, I think after like my next couple cars, I should be able to adjust my price so that I'm not losing any money out of pocket. Uh, I can basically up my price and charge the customer for using you know this place. Um, but I'm very grateful, um, and I feel blessed even in the midst of everything that's you know kind of going on. Um, <clears throat> and. Uh, yeah, man, like I said, just kind of taking it one day at a time and it's been rough even even having opportunities that I have had up until this point It's still been a little rough, but um, like I said, I'm just taking it one day at a time Yeah, I mean, I've had a little bit of bad luck since I've gotten here um, They do have a booth and I'll show you guys I'll show you guys the booth here in a second, but um, This is actually like a truck booth and it's meant to paint like garbage trucks originally or like 18 wheelers tractor trailers um so it's a really big booth it's, it's it's nice but almost as soon as i got here um the fans <laughs> ironically um their fan uh stopped working and he's been trying to figure it out so <clears throat> although i am grateful i've had my issues since i've been here um but like I said, man, I'm, I'm just more grateful than anything. But yeah, man, like I said, um, I, I didn't really skip a beat, man, to be honest with you. Um, I've been able to do some, some jobs and keep the money somewhat flowing in as far as like my day to day. Um, and uh, <clears throat> yeah, man, like I said, just more grateful than anything to even have, you know, the opportunity to even spray in a booth and now I can't there's no going back to my old setup um legally and um and just to being spoiled by this thing man this booth is like I said it's nice but uh but yeah man um you can tell it's late at night you know what I'm saying it's dark outside there goes the daily the Audi um <clears throat> part of the deal with me um, working out of this uh, out of their shop is that um, I pretty much have to work during their off hours. So once they close, I can come in and do my thing. And uh, like I said, that's a little bit of a task in itself because I'm still up during the day and then I'm just working like 16, 18 hour days. And like I said, but you know, some is better than none. And I'm just trying to stay appreciative. And hopefully I can get my shop up and running and get me one of these Maybe, well, not the one this big, but just get a booth in general and uh, get back to doing what I what I love to do. But um, just a little insight, just a little Porsche Panamera that I'm doing. I think this is a 2022 or 2021. I think this is the base model, nothing special. Um, <clears throat> but uh, the color is done. I'm actually getting ready to do the gloss here in a second. Well, not in a second, you know, but I'm basically getting ready to do the gloss next. And, um, yeah, man, that's pretty much it. 
Um, I'm gonna show you guys an update at the axe at my shop and show you, you know, what's been going on and the process of cleaning and restoring everything. So, in the next clip, we'll be over at the original shop. Yes, sir. Got the first coat. Gotta put another coat. And it should be good. I don't know if you can see it on camera. You can see it's like some splotchy areas. But the important thing is the kills sealed all the smoke in. Whatever smoke smell was left is definitely gone now. So now <clears throat> day two of paint, putting a second coat. You can see it better on this wall. See how it needs that second coat. So yeah, you know what I'm saying? Trey B dipping. Oh snap. Look at that. So we got the painting done. And after some small details, pretty much finished. Plumbing's done, electrical's done, water here is done, the HVAC is done. Painting is done, the lighting is done. I mean, that's pretty much it, man. The bathroom is done, repainted. White still needs to be cleaned a little bit. Not sure what I'm gonna do about the floors yet because I, obviously I got like overspray on the floor. Not too sure what I can do about that or what I'm gonna do about that. But uh, I have to say, man, it looks good in here nice and bright literally the last thing I got to do is replace the garage opener and I'm done man I am done paint looks good mm.